Good morning. We're going to talk a little bit more about um, main idea and details. And today I have a story um, that is nonfiction that is about the Earth's moon. I want you to remember yesterday when we were looking at the picture of colonists at home that we were um, talking about that one of the ways that we can understand is by asking questions. And so today, um, we're going to do that again in a little bit different way. We're also going to figure out the main idea and the supporting details. And I'm going to read this. I know that there's a little bit of glare on it, so I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to start up here. And it says, Many people like to gaze at the moon in the night sky. The moon is much smaller than Earth. The distance across the moon is about 2,100 miles. And then it's 3,380 kilometers. While Earth is about 7,900 miles or 12,714 kilometers across. The distance around the moon is about 6,800 miles. 10,944 kilometers, while the distance around Earth is about 25,000 miles, which is over 40 kilometers, 40,000 kilometers. About 49 moons could fit inside Earth. That's a kind of an interesting fact, I think. The moon goes through a series of phases as it moves around or orbits Earth. During these phases, the amount of the moon that we can see from Earth changes. The moon is always the same, to the shape of a ball or sphere. The same side of the moon always faces Earth. However, sometimes we see only a small part of the moon. Other times we see a big, bright circle. Okay, so that was a true factual uh, story about the moon. And we're going to reread the first two sentences. The first two sentences say, many people like to gaze at the moon in the night sky. The moon is much smaller than Earth. Now, do you think that that might be the main idea? So we were talking the other day, I think it was on the lesson for Monday, that many times the first sentence or two or the last sentence or two of a, of a paragraph might be the main idea. And so in this case, um, the first sentence talks about that a lot of people like to look at the moon. And then the second one says the moon is much smaller than Earth. And then all of this tells about it being smaller. And so the main idea of this part, this first paragraph, would be the moon is much smaller than the Earth. And it is the second sentence in that paragraph. Then we can start to um, find supporting details. And supporting details are kind of like the legs of a table. The main idea is the tabletop, and then the details are the legs that hold it up or support it. And so they gave us information in here. I could say, again, asking a question, uh, why or what do I know about the moon being smaller. Well, one thing is they told us that the moon is 2,100 miles across. The Earth is 7,900 miles across. 
Another thing they told us that's a detail is that the distance around the moon is 6,800 miles and around the earth is 25,000 miles. And then the last one, which is a very good supporting fact that the moon is much smaller than earth, is that about 49 moons could fit inside it. So we want to think about the main idea, what is the main part of the story, what are some details, how can I find those supporting details? Well, by asking questions. How do I know the moon is smaller than the earth? Well, here are some reasons that they stated. And so asking questions helps me find the answer. Now, if you look at the other side, where it talks about the moon going through phases and how much of the moon we see, it says the moon goes through a series of phases as it moves around or orbits Earth. Well, that sounds pretty good to be the main part of that paragraph, doesn't it? So here it is, the moon goes through a series of phases as it orbits Earth. Okay, so what are the legs of my table? In other words, what are the things that support my main idea? Well, if I start asking, how can I know it goes through phases? It says, well, the amount of the moon that we can see changes. And think about it looking in the sky. Sometimes it's just a little sliver. And sometimes it's about half of the moon. And sometimes we have a full moon. And here in the next couple months, there'll be days when, or nights, I'm sorry, when it'll be bright orange and huge and they call that a harvest moon. So we know from experience that the moon um, changes a lot and that sometimes we only see a small part of the moon. Like right here, it's talking about seeing a small part and other times that we see a big bright circle. So those are all supporting details for my main idea that it goes through a series of phases as it orbits Earth. So guys, what do I want you to get out of this? I want you to be able to find the main idea in a paragraph. I want you to be able to give supporting details like we did here where we found the by asking questions, how do we know the moon goes through a series of phases? And we gave three reasons why, three details. And um, when we do that, when we ask questions, we can find details a lot easier. So those are the things, main idea, details, and asking questions to find those details. Okay? Thank you for listening.